At MWC, Sony unveiled its most impressive smartphone to date, the Xperia XZ Premium. The Japanese manufacturer promised unparalleled experience thanks to the solid 5.5-inch 4K display, Snapdragon 835 and Android 7 Nougat. With the device releasing in just a few weeks, we had to check for ourselves if it delivers on those promises. Hi folks, I'm Damien with Phone Arena and today we're reviewing the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. The Sony Xperia XZ Premium looks gorgeous. Everything in its design screams Xperia and we definitely like that. The glass sandwich form factor, complete with Sony's so-called loop design, really looks quite impressive in person, as opposed to most photos of the phone. The only drawback of the otherwise elegant design is its susceptibility to fingerprints, but that's to be expected with so much glass. In terms of utility, the XZ Premium features a fingerprint scanner embedded in the power button on the right side, but only for international models, and not US ones. The volume rocker sits on the same side, and unlike previous Xperia phones, it's above the power button. This makes it far more comfortable to use. The latest Sony device also comes with dual front firing stereo speakers, a 3.5mm jack on the top side, and a USB Type-C port on the bottom. The left side holds only the SIM and micro SD trays. The device is slightly on the bulky side, but it feels satisfyingly solid when handled thanks to its bigger dimensions and weight. When it comes to the display, impressive is the best word to describe it with. The 5.5 inch 4K LCD provides plenty of pixels to make everything look perfectly crisp in just about any scenario. It also comes with HDR capability and HDR video content looks very good considering it's being played on a smartphone. That being said, the difference between 1080p and 4K is most prominent with VR content, and it will not be that noticeable with regular multimedia. However, since Sony doesn't have its own VR platform, you will have to rely on a universal one such as Google's Cardboard. We have only one complaint about the panel. Its colors are somewhat cold and unrealistic by default. Fortunately, Sony allows users to tweak those via three preset configurations, which are further customizable via dedicated white balance sliders. So in case you're not happy with the screen's colors, you have plenty of options to customize them to your liking. When it comes to software, the Xperia XZ Premium comes with Android 7.1.1 on board, complete with Sony's familiar skin. The transition to Nougat hasn't changed the Sony interface much, so if you have used an Xperia before, you will have no problems getting used to the new OS version. Sony has also done a great job with optimizations, so you can expect a very snappy and responsive software. Of course, the good user experience has a lot to do with the top-of-the-line hardware. The Xperia XZ Premium comes with Qualcomm's latest silicon, the Snapdragon 835. This is complemented by 4GB of RAM and user-expandable 64GB of storage. Judging from our experience with the phone, the new chip is providing very good performance without too much stress on the system. What caught us by surprise is how cool the phone remained under heavy usage. Resource-heavy 3D games such as Rovio's Battle Bay had very little effect on the device's temperature and so did VR video content, despite the confined space inside the Google Cardboard we used. The latest Qualcomm hardware also comes with all the goodies you'd expect in terms of connectivity. This includes NFC, Bluetooth 5, the latest Wi-Fi standards and so on. The newest version of Bluetooth is more future-proof on Sony's side though, since its benefits are completely negated when used to communicate with a device sporting older Bluetooth standards. We don't know whether US carriers will be selling the device just yet, so do make sure to double-check LTE band compatibility before buying the phone. Otherwise, you might be stuck with a great phablet, the full potential of which is not accessible to you. Speaking of buying the phone, let's take a look at its main selling point, the camera. The Xperia XZ Premium comes with Sony's latest 19MP smartphone sensor, featuring the heavily marketed Motion Eye technology. The camera is a good all-rounder, but leaves something to be desired in low-light conditions. However, it is one of the best cameras to shoot moving objects with, as the Motion Eye tech helps to reduce the distortion caused by rapid movement and allow for much cleaner photos. The new sensor also comes with some unique slow-motion video capabilities. Sony is the first smartphone manufacturer to produce devices that can film video at 960 frames per second. That's four times faster than what we had available in phones before. This is achieved through a sensor's dedicated DRAM, but since that many frames do take a lot of memory, it can only shoot in this super slow motion mode for a fraction of the second. The short filming time makes it quite hard to capture the moments you want to watch in slow motion. 
but with impeccable timing and a bit of luck, it can result in some gorgeous footage. When it comes to the selfie snapper, we'd classify it as pretty ok, but nothing to write home about. What baffles us is the soft skin effect, which does nothing to hide skin imperfections, instead it just makes anyone in the photo look like a wax figure. The camera UI is unfortunately not on par with the rest of the software though. It is still somewhat clunky and counterintuitive as with previous Sony phones. However, it could have been worse, so we won't complain too much. With so many impressive features, one would expect the Xperia XZ Premium would be a power hawk. However, it has an excellent battery life despite its somewhat modest 3230mAh battery. It has lasted for well over 8 hours in our standard test and in regular everyday usage it has yet to fail us. This speaks for some serious battery usage optimization on Sony's part and we can only applaud them for it. All things considered, the Sony Xperia XZ Premium is an extremely solid phone with plenty of pros and limited cons. However, it's going against very strong competitors, so in case you're in the market for a new Android flagship and you're not ready to give up the 9x16 aspect ratio just yet, the XZ Premium should definitely be one to consider. I'm Damien with Phone Arena and thanks for watching.